Hello everybody. Today I will talk about 5G overview new radio. As you know, the 5G new radio is the next generation wireless standard that requires new technologies and performance improvement than 4G air interface. So today I will talk about what is 5G new radio. 5G <coughs> New radio is a wireless standard that will become the foundation of the next generation of 5G for mobile network. So, what is the difference between 5G new radio and, for example, LTE air interface? First of all, 5G new radio it to make wireless broadband same as fiber like performance as you will as we remember at last session the throat or peak data rate will be reach 20 gigabit per second for example for the one link also at legacy 3g and 4g five uh, the, the aim of 3g and 4g is connecting people but 5G new radio will connect everything means it will connect smartphones, cars, meters, wearables and autonomous uh, vehicle machine type communication and different <coughs> use cases the different use cases it has three categories in hand mobile broadband ultra reliable low latency communication and the massive type machine communication okay also 5G new radio will provide a enhancement in areas like flexibility scalability efficiency in power usage and spectrum efficiency and this is the key technology of 5G new radio so what why we need 5G new radio first of all it's will support new spectrum and bandwidth signal quality as you know to enable higher higher that throughput for application like streaming HD video and to allow for more network capacity 5G new re, new radio specify new ranges of frequency frequency band will work at sub 6 gigahertz and millimeter waves this will support higher bandwidths and higher data rate also we need to concern about what is the signal quality issue like pass loss it is a challenge of mm wave or high frequency band and phase noise so 5g new radio it's a very important at flexibility of frequency band okay this is the first key why you need 5g new radio all new technology second one is MIMO and P steering as you know 5g new radio use advanced beamforming to overcome the bus loss the multibus signal propagation issue that come with the mm wave as we win we uh, use mm wave or high frequency we need to overcome this high frequency so the benefit of beamforming is that it can use arrays that lever antenna gain and the better signal to noise and interference ratio to a specified user equipment to make the most of the technology new design and system lever approaches need uh, to be required so this is the second one of the keys of 5g new radio third one is the wave form and scalable 
numerology and we will support different as I will illustrate it as a upcoming session different subcarrier spacing subcarrier spacing is fixed at LTE to 15 kilohertz but at 5G as we will see as upcoming uh, sessions will support different 15 30 60 120 and 240 different for different use cases so this is the third one of the 5G key technology okay uh, what about network slicing network slicing is the four one okay as you know 5G will increase network traffic and different use cases so we need different technology to work at the same time so G uh, must co coexisting with many already existing service and with new service that will be supported different signal so as you see 5G will work for different requirements high bandwidth for wireless broadband real-time carrier control need ultra low latency IOT and the sensor will need low bandwidth and low energy and video streaming will will need ultra high bandwidth so this is different <coughs> requirement and so we will use same infrastructure to support different 5G each one of the uh, this, uh, use cases will be as a slice okay this will to topic will be discussed at the core session at the series of the upcoming session okay uh, li last one support different use cases different use cases and the different requirement from enhanced mobile broadband so we need here giga byte per second we can see more details for that use case it enhanced mobile broadband gigabit per second and we need 3d video and the ultra high definition screens for example work and the play in the cloud uh, for ultra reliable low latency communication we need application like autonomous uh, or self-driving cars and least one machine type communication or massive machine type communication like smart city so <coughs> these different use cases need new air interface or 5g new radio this is the about today for 5g new radio as the upcoming uh, session i will focus on the physical layer next session will be will be focused about physical layer of new radio okay thank you for today and don't forget as usual to like and subscribe my youtube channel monam education and share if you see it's beneficial for a lot of people 
ओके थैंक यू एंड गुड बाय